What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 12 of Hugo Builds. This episode is going to be focusing on Vapor Barrier. For those of you who are just uh, joining us for the first time, welcome to the channel. Alright, I hope my battery doesn't die. The uh, cold's been really hard on the battery these days, so that's why I haven't been filming much uh, while we're doing the insulation. But essentially the <laughs> insulation for the whole house uh, is done, or at least all the walls. Uh, I'm now putting up the vapor barrier, and that's a super messy job, so try not to get some of that kind of black acoustic sealant on the camera, and that's been limiting my filming as well. Now for the vapor barrier, uh, essentially use a caulking gun with uh, acoustic sealant, which is what you see this black stuff in the back. You pour that, I'm trying to do every second stud and then a continuous line at the top, the bottom, and the sides. Everything's gonna be taped up uh, once we're done. So first things first is you're gonna wanna lay out your vapor barrier, and secondly, you're going to apply your acoustic sealant on the perimeter of the wall to make sure you have a proper seal. Next, you're gonna stretch out your vapor barrier and staple it in place. Essentially the trick here is to use as little staples as possible because you want the least amount of perforations in your vapor barrier to keep a sealed envelope. We'll tape it later. So it's uh, December 30th. Yeah, tomorrow's the uh, tomorrow's New Year's Eve. I've been putting up the uh, vapor barrier all day. I am so tired. I'm really burnt. This was a long week. I've been working kind of eight to ten hour days every week for the whole holidays. Uh, it's coming together, so I'm happy with the product. It's just really exhausting. Yeah, I'm just completely burnt. I gotta finish the ceiling here, and I'm gonna finish the ground floor uh, vapor barrier and uh, then I gotta cut out all the plugs and do all the taping so that's gonna be another quite a bit of work but it's coming along so keep watching forget to mention a lot of people helped me out this week my brother came for a whole day and kinda helped me out with the insulation in the basement so I'm really thankful for that so thanks Nick and uh, my buddy Matt uh, Pru was also here yesterday and he did like a massive cleaning of all the upstairs and made it much easier for us to move around and he kind of helped me uh, with the whole vapor barrier so much appreciated everyone that's helped me out so far I uh, I appreciate it and uh, this wouldn't be possible without you know a bunch of help from a bunch of people so thanks so much Here's me doing a completely useless task for the next 20 seconds. It turns out that the pink foam that's fully taped up behind the insulation here is considered a vapor barrier, so I'm actually going to have to take all this vapor barrier down, but I had fun doing it. <laughs> right. Hey, what's going on everybody? I feel much better this morning. I think uh, last night when I recorded that last segment, I was feeling really exhausted, really tired, and just kind of really down, but got a good night's sleep. Now I'm back at it. It's actually pretty warm uh, inside the house. It's New Year's Eve. I'm gonna try to work, uh, you know, kind of this afternoon. We uh, were hosting a few people here uh, tonight, so I won't work as late as the other days. But uh, as you can see behind me, I got a lot of the uh, ceiling vapor barrier uh, done. I'll show you guys a little bit about that process of uh, how to put up the vapor barrier on the ceiling. All right, so check this out. We got the vapor barrier done uh, behind me here, and in the staircase, that was um, that was a huge pain in the ass. Pretty much always working in the staircase, it's so high, it's a huge pain in the ass. But you can see in the bathroom here, we got a big part of the vapor barrier done. And then if I come to the uh, bedroom, you can see that I got uh, the vapor barrier all done here. It still all needs to be taped and all the uh, perforations and stuff need to be cut out, but uh, it's going pretty quick so far. So that's uh, 
pretty motivating when stuff actually works out like it's supposed to. So I'll keep going on that. All right, so I'll be doing the uh, master closet right here. So I have the roll of the vapor barrier. That's about, uh, once it's unfolded, it's about eight and a half. So I think I could just use one, uh, one piece of these for uh, both the master uh, ensuite as well as the uh, master closet. So I'll just unroll it on the ground. I'll measure out uh, rough dimension. Uh, and then, uh, then I'll show you guys how I put it up. And I'll do the, uh, the acoustic sealant on the ceiling afterwards, just when I fold up that top flap to make everything kind of act as one envelope. Just use my trusty X-Acto Alpha Blade. So when the contractor framed the uh, second floor walls, in between the two top plates, they put just a strip of uh, vapor barrier. Essentially this allows me to have a flap that folds up so we can have a piece on the ceiling and then all the walls interconnect so that we have one seal envelope. And that's kind of the trick with the vapor barrier is just to have one completely sealed box. Since we have the uh, cathedral ceiling up here, in order to continue the vapor barrier, I'm going to use some of these R40 uh, pink bats, which I'm not using anywhere else. Uh, and this is just so that I can line the cathedral ceiling. And when we do the blown in insulation, that has something to rest on uh, in there and it doesn't all just slide down on the plastic. It's just to give that kind of cellulose or whatever a bit more um, uh, friction up there. So this would be a good base for that. So I'm going to put those up now before we uh, can put the vapor barrier on the ceiling in the master bedroom. I also wanted to say that I did put up these uh, these cardboard baffles. Essentially these things here are all fastened underneath uh, the trusses. That gives about four inches of uh, breathability or three and a half inch since these are two by fours and essentially that goes to the uh, kind of crack that was left between the roof and uh, the wall, we left a four inch crack in the sheathing there so that the air can come in. Essentially, uh, this venting detail acts exactly as a typical soffit overhang, except we did it on the wall vertically. Everywhere we left a little bit of vapor barrier overhanging the top plate in order to cut it at each joist, tape it, and then tuck it into the uh, rim joist cavity so we can have it spray foamed and keep a continuous seal all the way up to the second floor.
as you can see, the uh, spray foam guys came and uh, essentially did all the rim joists and they did this big cantilevered part uh, over the entrance here. So that gave us like an R31 uh, minimum and I think they added even more. So we're probably at around R40 or something uh, under the, uh, the cantilever there. So the master bedroom, which is right above it, is going to be nice and warm. Come here. Come on. Oh, who's this? Come on. That'll do it for the vapor barrier. Man, it's uh, February 2nd, I think, today. This is a long video. I guess uh, doing all the vapor barrier and then just getting everything ready for drywall took a lot longer than, uh, than I thought. There was just kind of so much small prep work and uh, getting kind of these little walls framed up and the uh, upstairs uh, railing and then just making sure everything's nice and clean and ready for drywall. As you can see behind me, there's no more insulation over here. Uh, we sent that all back, got a credit for that. Uh, and essentially, we have uh, some heat in the house. The big thing is we actually have power. Look at that. The panel's in, the pole was installed in front of the house, and uh, they ran a power line down to the panel, which is all done. Uh, Matt came and gave me a few extension cords for kind of 240 uh, construction heaters, so those are running full time in the background. Uh, we should have the furnace uh, started up in the next few days, I'm just waiting for that and then the house will be uh, nice and warm and ready for drywall. One thing that I did learn when uh, doing the vapor barrier in the basement is that I actually got about halfway through the vapor barrier in the basement before I kind of got the thought that um, the rigid foam might be acting as a vapor barrier. We actually put uh, a two inch pink type three rigid foam against the walls. Everything was taped up and it's a continuous seal. I did a bit of research and I found out that uh, it has a permeability rating under a certain amount, under 52 I think, which makes it, uh, which is considered a vapor barrier. So. I'm not going to have to finish the vapor barrier in the basement. If anything, I'm going I'm to have to cut it up so that we don't have kind of this double vapor barrier and then uh, moisture getting stuck in there. Next video is going to be drywall. Oh, let's start uh, having fun with these again. Big steps. Big steps. Still moving forward. Uh, thanks a lot for everybody for watching. I did get uh, this one message from a guy called Alex uh, through, I think he found me through Reddit. and. Uh, you know, big shout out to this guy. He's been building his own house in Toronto. He sent me a bunch of pictures. He sent me some kind words about this house and just kind of solidarity of the, you know, what we're going through. And I really appreciate it. It really uh, motivates me to keep doing these videos. So big shout out to uh, Alex in Toronto. I hope you're uh, watching this. So good luck with your place. That'll do it for episode 12. I hope you guys liked the little trailer last week. It was just a little recap for those uh, who uh, were just joining us. So if you like this video, uh, hit the little thumbs up button down in the corner. If you think you're getting anything out of this, hit that subscribe button and uh, that little bell to uh, notify you every time I make a new video, which hopefully should be a bit more often. So I'll leave you guys with this little snowstorm we're having right now.